Hi class, uh, what I want to do in this video here is help get you started on the module 5 assignment. Um, so this assignment here, um, unlike the previous assignments where every student developed their own random sample uh, and every student got different results as a, as a, as a result of this, um, this isn't the case for this assignment. So this one here, each student is given the random sample, so there's only one correct solution here. So unlike my previous videos, what I won't be doing is writing a sample report for you. But what I want to do is just help you get started on this because the wording on this can be a little confusing. OK, so here's this scenario. So you've been hired by the a regional real estate company to help them analyze real estate data. It's the same um, same type of uh, sales data that we've been working with in all the previous assignments and projects. So here's the problem. One of the company's Pacific region salesperson has just returned to the office with a newly designed advertisement. It, state that, it states that the average cost per square foot of his home sales is above the average cost per square foot in the Pacific region. So basically what's going on is this salesperson says, look, there's an average um, cost per square foot in this Pacific region, but I'm such a good salesperson that my average cost per square foot is higher than that, okay? So that's a claim. So it's an unproven claim. So what we wanna do in hypothesis testing is test that claim. So he wants you to make sure he can make that statement before approving the use of the advertisement. Okay, and so here's the thing. He knows that the average cost per square foot of his home sales is 275, okay, per square foot. So in order to test his claim, you collect a sample of 1,001 home sales for the Pacific region. <coughs> okay, so you're gonna start, it says design a hypothesis, hypothesis test and interpret the results using the significance level alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So that's your level of significance. So it says use the housing list uh, price by region document to help support your work. So when you click on this, this document, it loads up this Excel file here, okay? And what we're interested in working with is uh, the cost per square foot, okay? So we know what the regional salesperson is. So his cost is 275, okay? And what he's claiming is, look, that mean is higher than the uh, average sale price in the Pacific region. So what we don't know, what we don't know is the average sale price in the Pacific region, okay? This is just a sample of cost per square foot in the um, uh, Pacific region, but what we don't know is we, we'd like, we really don't know what the actual real mean is, okay? All right, so it goes on to say the following. Um, you're going to use this template here, this module five uh, assignment template, excuse me. And on your own this week, so I know normally you see my sample report, but on your own, you're going to have to fill out all these parts. Okay, so I'm going to help get you there with this video. All right, so the first thing it says is set up. Okay, define your population parameter, including the hypothesis statements. Okay, so our population parameter. So what we don't know is what we, we don't know is we don't know the real mean in the Pacific region, okay? So our population parameter that we're investigating is the population mean in the Pacific region for cost per square foot, okay? So my population parameter is gonna be something like this. Let mu, so I'm just gonna use u here, but it's the Greek letter mu. Let mu equal the mean cost per square foot in Pacific region. So what we next need um, is we need to figure out a hypothesis test here. Okay, and there's, and there's three types of hypothesis test here. Um, you need to figure out if it's gonna be a left-tailed, right-tailed, or two-tailed test. And this is where it gets tricky. So the salesperson believes that his sales are higher. His sales, his sale mean is higher. Okay. So a left tail test. Okay. Sorry, a little bit of a typo there. Left tail test. You have your null statement. It's mu is equal to some number. And the alternative is that mu is less than some number. A right tail test. The null uh, 
is mu is equal to some number, and we're looking to investigate, no way, the mean is greater than that number. And then we have a two-tailed test. Mu is equal to some number, and the alternative is, wait a second, no way, the mean is uh, not equal to that number. I'm just going to put not equals there. All right, so it's up to you to figure out what type of test this is. All right, I'm going to help you a little bit here. So it is not, okay, it is not a two-tailed test, okay? So this would be the incorrect choice for this problem. So I'm going to gonna work this out, this video, showing you an incorrect solution, just so you can kind of see how this is going to go. Okay. So look, you don't know the, the mean in the Pacific region, but all you really care about is you want to check to see if... Um, his mean is actually higher, okay? So I'm gonna start with the assumption then that it's 275, that the mean is 275. And what I wanna show evidence for is like, no way, it's not 275. The, the mean in the Pacific region is different from his sale mean, okay? So again, just so we're clear in the video, this I'm, I'm just going through this two-tailed test for you, but it's actually not the correct one you'll have to pick. So I'll leave it up to you to determine if it's a left-tailed test or a right-tailed test. Okay, that's going to be the crux of your apartment or your uh, your assignment here that you'll have to figure out. All right, we've got the significance level. It's 0 0.05. Now I'm going to leave this data analysis for you. Uh, what you're going to basically do is you're going to do a data analysis on the the cost per square foot data that you have here. So do the histogram, get the summary statistics. Uh, I'll leave that that analysis up to you. But you've had practice with it in the previous reports and assignments. Okay, what's the big one here? Uh, calculate the p-value. Okay, discuss the p-value and test statistic in regard to the normal curve graph. Discuss how the p-value relates to the significance level and compare the p-value to the significance level to reject or fail to reject the null. So first off, it says determine the appropriate test statistic. And they give you this formula. The test statistic is the mean minus the target divided by the standard error. In this case, the mean is your regional mean, so I'll get you that. And they tell you the target, it's 275. Okay, and then what we need to figure out is this standard error. Test statistic. So we have the mean, the target, and the sample, and the standard error. All right, well the mean, is just the average of our um, cost per square foot here, okay, from our sample. So I'm just going to select this column. I'll get the mean for it. It's, it's $264, which is which is like, oh, oh, look at that. It's less than 275. But that doesn't just mean you can conclude that his his average is higher. You still need to go through the hypothesis testing. Like, for example, what if the sample mean was $274.50? Would we just still say there's enough evidence to say for sure that his mean is higher than just the real mean because he only took this sample. Uh, you got to still go through the hypothesis test. The target is 275. They tell you that. So what is the standard error? Okay. Well, the standard error is the uh, standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size n here. So you're going to go stdev.s because you have a sample and you want the standard deviation of, of the cost per square foot and then you're going to divide it by the square root which is sqrt parentheses of our sample size. Well there was a thousand and one observations here. Okay so that's our standard error. So our test statistic then is equal to the mean minus the target, close the parentheses, divided by the standard error. Okay, so it's negative, looks like it is negative 2.1483 here, okay. Uh, so let's, let's now, um, let's talk about how you find the p-value. Okay, so to find the p-value, okay, you're going to use one of these functions. Equal t.dist.r for a right tail test, t.dist for a left tail test, and equals t.dist.2t uh, for a, a two tail test. 
So I'm going to use this one here, okay? Um, and we'll see if if what I get for my p-value, and I'll talk about it, okay? So I'm going to do equal t dot dist dot two t. Now here's the thing about a two-tail test. Um, you actually need to put in a positive number. It won't accept a negative number for the test statistic. So even though my test statistic is minus 2.148, I'm going to put in 2.148 comma degrees of freedom. Uh, so the degrees of freedom is a sample size minus one. So it's n minus one. So it's a thousand and one minus one, which is a thousand. And you'll see that my p-value comes back as this. Okay. 0 0.0319, all right? So since the p-value is less than the level of significance, we reject the null. When you reject the null hypothesis, what, what it means is evidence supports the alternative. And so what we're, what, what we're saying here when evidence supports the alternative is we're saying that, look, this, this sample mean of 264 is enough evidence to indicate that the mean in the Pacific region is not equal to 275. So evidence suggests the mean, um, and this was cost per square foot in the Pacific region, is not equal to 275. All right, so then what you'll have to do is you'll have to write this in your report, you know, like if that's what the hypothesis testing is suggestion, what does that what does that mean to relate to his advertising claim? And you'll have to fill out the rest there. All right, but look, so we know I just did the two-tailed test for you, and it's not the correct test. So you have to figure out how you can set up this um, this as a left-tailed test here, and maybe that's the right one. Or, or as a right tail test. You know, I'll leave that up to you in your report. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions about this, and I know it's really confusing what's going on, and, and I know this is not an easy assignment, but uh, if you have any questions, post to the general questions forum, um, or you can email me, and I and I will respond to you as quickly as I can, um, and and we'll get through this.